This story comes to us from cbsnews.com. A Revere police officer is facing an internal investigation after the I-Team obtained a video that appears to show the white officer using a racial slur interacting with a young man. Yeah, you just called me a n- I don't So there it is, less than 24 hours after our report aired, that officer, Andrew Loria, seen on the cell phone video, was placed on restricted duty. Cell phone video appears to show Rivera police officer Andrew Loria shouting a racial slur during a confrontation with a teenager outside Walgreens. Residents with the I team spoke to uh, residents the I team spoke to said the word was offensive and that it shouldn't be used by police. Ed Davis, the former Boston police commissioner and WBZ security analyst, agrees, calling the video troubling. He said the bottom line is. You should not be uttering that word as a police officer in uniform. I was going to do a Bostonian accent, but what is he saying that for? Is that good enough? Um, <clears throat> but anyway, he said he shouldn't, a police officer shouldn't use that. The I team has learned Laurie responded to Walgreens on Broadway June 13th of this year, about 3 p.m. And it appears the young man may have used the offensive word first. And Loria may have, in response, accused the man of calling him that slur. Hmm. Davis, the expert, said it's still inappropriate and it sort of comes out of an angry response to something. So police officers have to control their anger. Boom! Amen, brother. He goes on. So it's problematic on two levels. The language that was used and also the rage that drove using that language. Both of these things have to be looked at. And therein lies it. They have to control their anger. I'm sorry, you chose the job. Nobody twisted your arm and said, sign the contract. You chose to be a cop. You have to control your You have to control yourself. You have to. I'm sorry. What if a surgeon gets pissed off at somebody in the middle of an operation and goes, damn it, shut up. He gets sued. But if a cop loses his anger, well, you know, it, he's on suspension and he'll be good after a week. Federal court records show Loria was sued in 2012. Yo, for excessive force and civil rights violations. And he's still a cop. The civil complaint alleges Loria in full uniform beat up his neighbor's friend without provocation. Loria denied the allegations. The case was later, later settled by the city for $45,000. The fact that the city settled is very suspect. And remember what Ed Davis said, the expert just now. He has to control his rage. A pattern here? A pattern? Lori has been a police officer for more than two decades. Revere Police opened an internal investigation into the case after the I-Team started asking questions. After the I-Team started asking questions, they opened an internal investigation. Not before. When it made the news. Sorry, I do talk a lot. I can't help it. I'm a godfather of cop watch. No, that's a little inside joke that somebody had commented on an earlier video. I digress. Residents tell the I-Team, I'm out there. The officer's conduct was unprofessional. We brought those concerns to acting Mayor Patrick Keefe. <clears throat> the Mayor Patrick Keefe said, I don't like that type of interaction. We want our police officers to be more role models. But the video certainly has what I've seen so far, says the mayor. Could be taken out of context, and I want to make sure that we get the whole scope of everything before I make any real decisions. And you should. You should. Maybe there was some, you know, underlying factors here. The fact that this guy's been sued before and the city settled, it's sus. As, the, as for the officer, he remains on the job. Of course he does. While the investigation is ongoing. In the end, Mayor Keefe says the appropriate action will be taken. <laughs> appropriate for whom? Revere police do not have body cameras. WBZ asked Walgreens for its surveillance video, but did not hear back. 
They've also reached out to Loria through the unions that represent him, but no one responded, and they won't respond. They don't want to talk to the news. Are you kidding me? The guy's already been sued. So there you go. Here's another one where a cop got sued. The city settled and said, okay, the taxpayers took care of it. Taxpayers took care of it. Okay, Loria, back out on the street, buddy. And now he's in trouble again for alleged to have used a racial slur. Does he get a last chance agreement? Huh? Like that Officer Bloom and the others in Vail, Colorado. Does he get a last chance agreement? 